Uh, hi friends, today we will going to uh, unbox this uh, MMX property watt and we will uh, go going inside this MMX property watt and see what are the components inside it. So this is the MMX property watt, this is manufactured by Micromax and it is a power bank as well as a Wi-Fi router. Okay, so this is very small in size. So compared to other routers, very small in size. Also, it has a power inside it. So you can connect any power uh, LAN to it, and it will convert it to your Wi-Fi uh, hotspot. Then uh, this is also has a USB socket. Let me see you. So I also broken it out. This is a uh, LAN port, so you can connect any LAN to this uh, module, so that it can connect to the internet. And also it has a USB socket so that it, it can act as a uh, uh, power uh, uh, power bank so that it can charge your devices from it. So it is a 440 watt, uh, it has a uh, 4400 mAh battery uh, of 3.7 volt. So you can charge your mobile or any uh, devices that needed 3.7 voltage or 5 volt output. So uh, it has a micro USB socket so you can charge this device okay as well as you can uh, connect LAN okay here is a po point so that you can check this sector you can check the level of battery uh, how much battery is available in this uh, MMX 40 watt so that you can know that how much battery left for your charging or something so if you connect a LAN uh, for a Wi-Fi hotspot so it's better you can connect a charger to this so that it will be charged this device as well as uh, the router will be work as a Wi-Fi hotspot. So let's today unbox it and see what uh, uh, and open it and see what are the components inside it. So already I am open it, so I am just showing you. First, you have to open this part of this Micromax uh, module, and upon opening it, you will find that this is how it's showing. So you have a three screws connected uh, over here. One and this is 2 and this is 3 these 3 screws are connected uh, to this my MMX 440 watt uh, module and you have to unscrew these 3 ports after unscrewing that you have to remove this back cover ok and you have to remove this back cover yes, I already opened it so don't have to worry I already removed the components outside so this is the parts that I am going to show you. Uh, currently, I am connecting. This is the battery pack, and this is the battery model. Okay, this is the USB uh, micro USB socket I am connecting, and this is the LED glowing. That means it is charging this model. Now I am removing this micro USB port. Okay, now I am removing it, and uh, now see what are the parts. And now you can remove also battery from this part also. So let's see the battery first. So here is the battery that is connected to this model. And now see, uh, you can see that this is 4400 mAh battery with 3.7 volt and 16.2 watt hour capacity. And this is uh, the two uh, 3.7 batteries connected. And here you can see two 3.7 volt batteries connected. Okay, and this is the socket over which you have to connect this socket to your. Um, board okay this is the board and this is the board that contains your battery this is a LAN socket this is the USB socket and this is the micro USB charging point okay all these ports are available over here and uh, and the battery level indicator is showing by these four LEDs connected over here these are your LEDs okay these are SMD LEDs so this is with these are very small LEDs and <coughs> to check you can click here is switch okay you can see this is the switch if I press it you can I am removing the battery so you can check the battery level so uh, by connecting the battery you can press this switch and you can check the battery level from here and uh, there is also uh, a reset switch over here for LAN connection if your LAN is showing some error or not connecting you can press this reset switch and so your LAN is connected ok <coughs> so all these parts and this is the micro USB and let's see the back side ok the back side of this I will just show you different parts over here. Here, what are the parts over here? So, so here is uh, it is the uh, Relink Acti 5350F. Actually, this is a Wi-Fi uh, system on chip IC, and uh, typically used in access point and router platforms. So, it is used for your generating an access point 
and uh, it is connecting with the LAN module. Then, uh, then the next part is your uh, RAM. Uh, this is a EM. You can see if I show you, this is the name. Okay. So the name is not correct. Visible. So just I just tell you the name of this IC. This is EM six three A one six five TS. Uh, 6G IC. This is a high speed CMOS synchronous DRAM. This is actually RAM that is connected to this model and it is currently this MMX 440 watt um, uh, router contains a 4 MB of RAM and this is a RAM module that is connected over here. Uh, so you can see the TRC 41604NL. Uh, and uh, this is uh, this is the IC of a power transfer. Well, this is a power transfer that is connected with the LAN uh, to this uh, router, and this is the RAM module. Uh, all these on um, peripherals are connected to this to making the uh, motherboard. And I don't have this complete circuit of this motherboard, so I can't show you. I just uh, give you a brief explain how the ICs are connected over here. And let's see. Now um, let's connect the power and check that if it works or not. So I am getting a battery over here. So here is my battery and I have to connect it over here. I can see I am connecting this battery over here. Okay, now let's check. Put it over here like this way. Okay, so here is the switch that if I press it I can show the level of the battery that is charged available in this. So if I press you can see the one LED is glowing means just uh, 20 percent of the battery is charged currently so and here is a switch available over here you can see here is a switch available here and it can uh, it gives you option to switch between your power bank and your router okay so and currently it is in off state if i pressed one time then it will be going to your power bank mode and if i move to another one then it is going to your router mode in router mode you can see that there is a blinking of LED so it is just blinking over here it is not constantly fixed so it's just on and off if it is constantly fixed over that so uh, if the blue is constantly glowing then you can know that the power is uh, the LAN is connected and it, it can get the access from internet so there is only blinking that means no LAN is connected over here now switch to the Now switch to this uh, power module and let's see I am going to charge uh, some devices I am currently using my mobile so I can charge my mobile so I am connecting some other devices over here now let's power it let's connect this wipe I am already let off it of the switch first so I am off it and of the power bank model and now I am going to charge my uh, you know, Bluetooth MP3 audio uh, player. So now let's charge this device. This jack here is jack available over here. Now connecting it. I am Bluetooth model over here. And now I'm going to switch it on for the power bank mode. Now let's press it one time and you can see that blue view is charged up. So before that it is not glowing, currently it is charged, means it is glowing of blue dew. Also if we switch it off, that will off, means no power is going on, then it is charging. Okay, so this is how all these parts of your uh, MMX 440W uh, Wi-Fi model is working. So I think I just give you one, some basics idea, so I hope you enjoy this uh, unboxing of and uh, uh, so circuit wing of your mmx 41 okay if you uh, have any query just give a comment below in this video and also if you like this video please subscribe to our channel thank you